Hello guys, this is Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. Big shout out to the African superstar family. Thank you for coming back again. Today I want to talk about five reasons black women are not comfortable with their natural hair. Now, there are a lot of us that are very comfortable with our natural hair. I know in my case, I wear a variety of styles, um, but I kind of want to talk about why some reasons why I personally think that black women have, some black women um, are still not comfortable with their natural hair. So I'm going to talk about those. So the first one is their peers. Um, they don't want to have to deal with the backlash from their family, their friends, especially if they've previously always worn their hair. Maybe they've worn it relaxed. Maybe they've worn it straightened. Uh, maybe they've worn weaves or, you know, protective styles. Um, I personally know there are some people in my family that don't really like my afro. Um, I know my mom, for instance, thinks that I should straighten it or do some kind of style. She really doesn't love when I wear it in this like natural afro <laughs> so you know if you don't want to go through that backlash you don't want to hear all the stupid comments you don't want to do all that um it can be it can be enough peer pressure to make you just keep doing your hair the way that you have been doing it the next topic i want to talk about is professional backlash Okay. Um, for people that are in a professional environment, this is very, very real. Um, a lot of places do not look at our natural hair as a suitable style for hair, you know, for, for work, the workplace. Um, so we've seen across the news, several people going through this, you know, people being reprimanded, uh, students being, you know, told they can't come to school or they have to cut their dreadlocks or they have to do their hair in some kind of appropriate style. It's very, very real. So depending on who the person is, you know, who the woman is and either her aspirations of her career or the current position that she's in, she may not feel comfortable or even be permitted to wear her hair natural. You know, when we look at black women that are kind of on the top of the totem pole, and I do know it is changing to a degree. We are seeing a lot more natural hair represented through the media, but still, this is still a relatively new thing. I'd say within the last, you know, five to seven years, we've started seeing more representation in the mainstream media. Before that, all the black girls we saw um, had straight hair, and then there were a couple of them that were braided. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of them, they were all wearing relaxed styles, unless they were mixed race, and then they would have the, the curly uh, afro type look. Um, so professional backlash is my number four point. Number three is ignorance of care. Um, I've seen a lot of black women talk about, oh, it takes so much time. You know, it takes a lot of maintenance. In my opinion, it really doesn't take that much more than normal hair. You know what I'm saying? Um, you kind of just uh, get adjusted to it. You know, you get adjusted to washing your hair once a week, twisting it or plaiting it at night. You make sure you have the right products. I have a very like low maintenance hair, you know, hair care regimen. Um, so I find that actually... Having my natural hair is much easier for me to maintain than when I was having my hair braided constantly or even when I had a sew-in weave. You know, I would have to uh, straighten my hair every day. I have to make sure my tracks were covered up. Uh, with braids, you know, they're constant. my hair grows really fast. So it's like I, every couple weeks I got to get my braids redone. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't stand when they get... Um, all frizzy and stuff at the root and then I have a very dry scalp so I get flakes in my hair and all these kind of things it's way more convenient for me to do my hair you know what I'm saying it's way more convenient for me to do natural styles I, like I said I do a variety of styles I change it up quite a bit but I do love my afro and I'm doing a frohawk right now I think it's amazing um I just love my natural hair <laughs> Um, so that was my number three point. So, so far we've covered peer pressure, professional backlash, ignorance of care, and styles and trends. Um, obviously people, whatever styles are promoted in the mainstream media, people will want to keep up with that. A lot of women in the mainstream media 
are wearing non-natural styles. You know, the, the hair weave is big. It's huge. Um, you have a lot of women wearing, you know, long Brazilian hair, 24 inches. You know, you got Beyonce out there. You got like the housewives. You got Nicki Minaj. You got Cardi B. You know, all these people kind of portray that, that whole look. Um, and so therefore, women that are on trend, they want to do the hot hairstyle. It's no different than, um, you know, during the 60s or 70s, people wore afros because that was the in style. When you go back and look at media at that time, you see people wearing afros. You even see white people uh, wearing afros. So styles and trends dictate what people like to do with their hair. Um, you know, so that's my, my fourth point. And my number one point, okay, this one is the one that I think is colossal. Um, and that is black men. Um, black men have a huge, huge input on this subject because naturally as women, we want to be appealing to our men. So whatever we feel, um, black men like, or whatever we see them with, you know, so say for instance, there's somebody who you admire, somebody you like, or someone you're attracted to. And you see this person, which, you know, we constantly see in the media, black men with non-black women, you know. Um, there are a lot of brothers that are with the sisters. Big shout-outs to you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of brothers, Will Smith, LeBron James, uh, Denzel Washington. Um, you know, there's there's so many, countless uh, black couples out there. And, and big shout-outs. I don't want to omit them. We do have a lot of black men that are dating outside. So obviously black women will kind of want to model themselves after whatever is portrayed. Um, when they see black men with these women with the long flowing hair or the hair weaves or whatever, that is what will influence them to, um, you know, maybe go with that style. And also if their man is not receptive to natural hair, you know, we want to be pleasing to our man. So if your man says, ah, I don't like it when you wear the Afro. That's not really encouraging. If your man says, I love your Afro. I, uh, you know, have dated people in the past that absolutely love my natural hair. It's such a, like, turn on to them. And that would encourage me to make sure, you know, I, I keep that in mind. And I make sure I'm wearing my hair natural when we're, when we're going to meet up or we're going out for dates and things like that. So uh, black men may not know it, but they are a huge part of this. I encourage black males that want to see natural hair to be very suggestive and complimentary to the women in your lives when they are wearing their natural hair that will encourage them to do it more often if there's someone who has been struggling with the concept you know there's nothing worse than taking your hair down and then someone being negative to you and say oh i don't like that afro i hate it i i wish you would straighten your hair i wish you would you know when are you going to put your weave back on or when are you going to put your wig back on um, so brothers, don't omit your, your, your portion in this. Black women have a role, uh, but our men are very essential. You know, we love you guys. We care about you. We want to be pleasing and attractive and things like that. So black men have to learn the art of being complimentary, um, to their women or to women in the community to promote, promote natural hair. You know, we're all dealing with our issues and a lot of people are trying to sort through those things and that can only be beneficial and always be helpful. I know when I go to the motherland, men love natural hair. African men love natural hair and it's so encouraging, you know. So anyway, Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my, you know, my thoughts on this subject. If you're not a member of our channel, make sure that you subscribe. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.